Hi guys, I'm Exactcast and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. This is the spring update. Uh, we're moving way more goods than we're moving people. And so let's see about actually linking these, um, link, linking up Corpus Christi over here. Oh, I forgot to switch the HUD back on. There we go. So what I've done uh, in between, very, very little, I, I just kind of put a little bit of structure around the town's um, um, road network. And so now we can actually run um, some public transport and the likes over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab ourselves uh, one of these, uh, one of these facilities. And I'm thinking a spot that could work for it. Would be kind of somewhere. Ooh, I can't get too close to that though. Just bear that in mind. Then maybe, maybe the right spot for us to do it is is right over here, where it kind of is in the middle of of that road section. There we go. That should uh, do the trick. Uh, we probably will need uh, one of the others as well at a later stage or at this stage. I think so. I think I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do a bit of a T junction here with uh, with depots. That's that's cool. That's cool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get our public transport up and running. So, I would like us to have um, a stop over there, a stop over here. Um, stop right on the end here um probably a stop somewhere like this uh at the at the cargo station and um yeah probably somewhere around here so my what i am wondering is are we who colorado springs now accepts a new cargo type machines Ooh, and we're probably delivering machines there already so that's good. We'll have a bit of a look at that in just a minute. Let's have a look here. So that's reaching here. This is reaching a couple there. That's reaching over here. That's reaching over here. Maybe we need to uh, extend that. This one is reaching in this location and over here. So who's reaching this? Uh, okay. So maybe what I need to do is just grab us a little street here. Keep everything as is. Tie that one in like so and now yes now everything is actually linking up quite nicely so let's add a line one uh and then we're heading this way two okay so this is called cc local a and then we'll have a new line heading in the other direction And this one will be CC local, CC local uh, B, A and B. And we're going to grab ourselves, uh, ooh, we're going to grab ourselves a couple of vehicles. I'm going to run the Toronto class over here. Probably, let's do four per direction. So this is the local A. And then we'll buy some more of them. And this will be the local B. Why interesting. Okay, there we go. So now we're running lots and lots of uh, local transport over here. Now, the next step is for us to tie this into some kind of a rail network. And what I was kind of wondering is maybe we link up this line. So the line we're running over here, the PD Dallas, um, Worcester, and we add CC at the end of it. So it's a, uh, an, a very long line towards the end. And what I do think we should be doing is we'll just uh, pause it for a second and we'll manage the line. So after Worcester, you go all the way to Corpus Christi. Could not uh, somehow connect to where it wants to go. Uh, oh, 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 yes, yes, we will we'll fix that. And then you go back to Worcester. 
Okay. Well, well. And this one needs to go into, so that one needs to be into number two, I think. Yes, that one needs to go into number two. And then this one needs to go into number one. And all we need to do is figure out what's going on on that side. And I know exactly what it is. So we'll just, uh, we've, we've got the game paused and all these things. So it's not actually running at the moment. Yes, we forgot to tie this in. Yes, I say we because I don't want to claim all. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to claim it. I don't want to take all the blame. But yeah, of course I did. Uh, there we go. Let's get the other one. And um, if we do something like that, that's not bad. That's okay. In through there, all the best and the running around. I'll also remember to to take it through here. And um, be sure to get our spur off there. I may still do something different with that. Um, over here, I think we um, give us a little bit of extra room here, and then we'll just kind of come out of there. Yeah, that's that's about the right. Tie them in. Similarly on this side. Now that's about the right. And we tie it in over there. Awesome. There we go. Uh, now, of course, we don't have anything along the lines of signals here just yet. So let's go and grab ourselves a couple of signals here. Okay. And should be fairly straightforward for us to put a few signals all the way along. Oh my goodness, I forgot to tie these together. Oh, there we go. Anyway, that shouldn't be a problem. Tie that in, run up 300k, and we're auto saving at the moment. There we go, that should be all good now. And yep, there we go. Just to the other side there. Probably over here as well. That's good. Like so. Like so. Okay, and we're doing our signals all the way down here. This last stretch will be a pretty lengthy uh, connection, actually. Oh, I need to probably fix a few of these, these lines or, or these roads that I've been um, messing up to be able to get this, this track through here. Let me just get uh, my, come on. Let me guess get these things working. Uh, somewhere in the middle, that would not be a great place to stop for everybody. This might be a better place to stop. And there, and there, it's, it's tedious. And here we go, arriving into this area. So let's just do that and that. And now, what kind of signaling would we have to run through here? Probably a little, a little bit like this, right? Something like that. That should work. Uh, the, these will be blocks by themselves. Then. 
this one. That should do the trick. And here we go. These guys needs to be Oh, it's the other way around. Um, actually, yes, come on. Come on, why wouldn't you do that? There we go, that's gonna work, that's gonna work. This one is just to be able to get that to sort itself out, and there we go, that should do the trick. Uh, probably need a little something over here. Um, yes, I remember, I remember, I'll probably need this as well, this one here, that, that has been an issue in the past also. Okay, so that should sort itself out, so now, I believe our line, this line should be working, and we should be um, having um, stuff run all the way there, so let's just get that one, via Corpus Christi, um, Let's, uh, let's have a quick look. Manage the vehicles. What are these? These are not very quick, I think. They are... Can we see max speed? Yeah, max speed is 120. So really, this one needs to have a little bit of an upgrade. So let's have a look at our replacing selected vehicles piece. Now, do we have something here? We can run the Metro Liner, which takes a 75, but that's still not quite a great... A great outcome in terms of speed is it steam doesn't have one so here we can run this one at 200 and here we can run that one at 200 so i'm just going to do that uh we'll grab one of those and we'll have the passenger units the westerl fleet one two three four five six seven eight i think that's about right that gives us 168 so let's go and do that and i'm also thinking i'm going to go and clone the two of them so now um this thing should um have a lot more capacity running through there and we should start adding corpus christi to the line not sure how long it's going to take to get stuff to work there but we need a few more signals um right over here so you would need a signal there Something like this, um, and then on the other direction, if we're not turning around, something like that and like that. There we go. And we'll do one over here and one over there. That'll do the trick. One here, one there, one there, one there. Whoa, that's a bear. Bear on the tracks, guys. Bear on the tracks. Um, and there and there. And we can probably do one more set like that. So there we go. So that should all work. Um, here comes our very first train. Is it at a top speed of 200? Not quite. Coming to speed up a little bit. Just want to see what it does but i'm pretty sure this line will just loop around no one uh, i'm assuming no one got off yet oh we actually loaded people no we didn't so we'll have to see see how quickly stuff is going to start moving in this general area okay that's good i'm going to leave it at that for the minute we can probably tie in over here and see about running um, the elizabeth line into corpus christi as well to run it in back into that direction that should be pretty cool but now, interestingly enough, now Colorado Springs is um, is getting a, uh, an additional demand for machines and it is also getting a demand for uh, food. So we do want to just have a little bit of a look. And I think it, it could potentially have a little bit to do with the fact that we are running... Um, that we are running slightly improved... Uh, uh, public transport that might be a big uh, a part of it uh, similarly i would like to have a quick look at the at the worcester city center there's a lot coming in coming on um, happening in here what's happening with our with our logo car local cargo 
So local cargo is not quite um, reaching everything. So, and we probably need to update our vehicles and things like that too. So let's quickly see about adding some additional cargo stops. So it's running from there. So what I would like to do is probably add here. Well, actually, let's add it over here. That should work. Okay, there's some activity on this side. So if I do that, would they would they reach? They would not reach. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Anyway, but I'm going to add one there. Uh, one all the way. Well, I don't think we need more. What I will, however, have to do is probably bring that truck stop up here now instead. So we'll, we'll expand that loop just a little bit and remove that stop there. And then this guy is not going to have any access at this point. Unless, unless, of course we uh, give them access directly from here, which I think is absolutely um, possible. Let's configure this ever so quickly, get ourselves a bit of a, a cargo building for access to this side as well. Yeah, that doesn't quite want to work though. So shall I just do this small one here? We can't have it at the edge there. We could potentially have it there. what I'll do is this and we will get out of here we'll get ourselves oops we'll get ourselves a bit of a local road access point right over here just to tie this stuff in so now um, the food supply should be able to get in on that side we should see about dealing with that a little bit more now uh, the local cargo let's just get the local cargo line going manage the line please so after you've hit Worcester transfer, please add Broadway Street and then you go to 5th and then from 5th you go to uh, Davis Street over there and then you, oh there's not one on this side, okay, okay, uh, well let's, let's extend that then, We'll do one over there also, and we'll grab this line yet again, and we'll manage that line, and after um, Elm Street, oh, I wanted to remove, oh, actually, it doesn't necessarily need to remove it, right? We'll just add uh, that Dogwood, Dogwood Street here also. Okay, good. Now, that's uh, a little bit of an expansion of that line. Uh, we will also then manage the vehicles and say, guys, we're going to do a bit of a replacement for you. In terms of cargo, I want something that's um, fairly effective in town. Ooh, we don't have something that takes everything unless we grab this guy. Well, let's, let's go nuts and grab that guy and see about moving a little bit more of the stuff into town here. What is this other one? The other one is WC Tools, which is running tools. So let's just manage vehicles on the tools, please. Um, actually, what is that line doing? What is the tools line doing? It is running. Uh, oh, it's doing all of it. So uh, let's just let's just uh, manage those vehicles and change them to replace them to these guys. There we go. So that should help things out a little bit probably do some additional pieces on this side also. Um, and we are also running, is this our, our oil truck here? WC Crude, we can probably improve our crude setup also. WC Crude, manage vehicles, um, select all of them, replace all of them, and we'll grab this guy who's gonna be running way more crude in here now. Okay, so I believe Worcester should now start seeing a little bit more um, action through here. I do like our skyscrapers. It's pretty cool. And how many people are heading towards Corpus Christi via Corpus Christi? Not, um, not a lot going to Corpus Christi. 
What's happening over here at Corpus Christi? Are we seeing a bit of demand here or not at all? That is interesting. If I click Corpus Christi. Um, interesting. It's not suggesting that it's going to try and make any movements. And it might be because of the distances associated with it. That's okay. Well, what I'll do now is I'll actually extend this piece of the line here. Okay, and we'll see about adding even more. So that's at about 208, which is okay. That's the, that's the super speedy train anyway. So we'll do that. That's awesome. There we go. So I would like to do that, giving us that 200 kilometers an hour. So we'll grab that one. Um, I'm going to quickly get rid of these signals right here. And then we'll extend um, the next piece through there also. Yeah, that's going to be okay. There we go. So that gives us um, the ability to run from Elizabeth to Corpus Christi as well. So we'll extend a line for that, for the purpose of doing that also. Um, so we'll do this and that. This and that. And probably... Uh, this and that over here. That should do the trick. Um, over here, of course, we would like to do very similar things. And very similar thing there. Nice. And now it goes into this area where, of course, from here we are probably doing this and this. And over there we are doing that and that. Something like so. Okay, and we can probably make them one ways if we wanted to, but now that should all work and we should be able to run whatever line is running through Elizabeth over here all the way back to Corpus Christi as well. NH to Elizabeth Express and then on to Corpus Christi or NH to... Hmm. I do kind of wonder if we, if we add that in here. If we add it into this one. Oh, it's actually doing the loop anyway. Well, 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 well. Let's uh, let's manage the line. Um, and we are going to add a station at the end of Elizabeth. You're going to go to Corpus Christi, um, after which you will then go back to Elizabeth. Uh, I believe... I believe you should be going to number one, please. There we go. Loop around, coming back. And then head back to Elizabeth. So for Elizabeth in the first instance, you're coming into number three, I think. Oh, actually, maybe not. You're coming into number two. Yes. And then in the next one, you're coming into number one. Uh, no, the other way around. You're coming into number one, and you're coming into number three. Why? Just, just pause it. Just pause it. Why is it not pausing? Just pause it for a second. They just see this is running through. Why are we running through this way? Guys, come on. Running in here, we're jumping off at Elizabeth. So why are you? Number two? No, you can't be doing number two. You need to be doing number one on your way inbound this way. 
Now, why do I have that? That is really, really, really frustrating. So somewhere from Elizabeth, Okay, so Elizabeth needs to be where? It needs to be number one, right? Is there another Elizabeth that's coming in through at number three? Or uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe this one. The second one needs to be at number two. There we go. There we go. I'm still concerned as to why I've got a massive loop running through there. And this thing could not connect all alternatives. Ah, you know what? It shouldn't be this. That's the issue. We, uh, we're not doing all of that. There we go. That's the issue. So I need to be a little bit more careful with some of these things where we're running some of that. This should now... Be fairly straightforward running through there. And they could find themselves. So what is this other line running through here now? That was a little, uh, little untoward. So now that line should come in here and get, um, get, get pick up, pick up some people at Corpus Christi and potentially be a transfer for the, for the line that runs all the way to Dallas then. I think. Uh, so we'll have to see that. Now, obviously, we need to prov provide some goods here. Otherwise, it's never going to grow properly into that. I'm, I'm a little amazed at the fact that we're not actu actually seeing any passengers on this line. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Oh, oh there's some passengers now. Okay, now we're going to start seeing some passengers. Okay. Maybe that's exactly what we're going to start seeing now. This guy is... Going um, pretty quickly through here. Running at 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I think this works actually works quite well, to be honest. And I do want to have a look if Worcester is doing a better job now. Yes, look at that. Growth is, it is booming. It's starting to boom a little bit more. Excellent. That's good. That's really good. What's happening with Colorado Springs? Are we actually providing it? <gasps> no, it dropped out its demand again. That was really unfortunate. How did that happen? It was getting there and then it left. Uncool, guys. Really uncool. So Colorado Springs is being, is getting everything it wants, right? 105. Uh, yeah, so everything it wants is moving this way around. So what we need to do now is probably put something on the line somewhere to go to, I don't know, Dallas. So we can get Dallas to, to be, do a bit of a growth. So we could certainly do a bit of a turn in here and run uh, another loop around here for Dallas, potentially into Worcester. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's tools and, um, and construction material. So potentially if we run one from there to here, Oh, and yes. Oh, but unfortunately, tools and construction materials is completely um, different kind of wagon types. It's never, ever going to do the trick for us. Okay. And then all the way to Palmdale here, where there's lots of people, but not a lot going on. Let's have a quick look at some of our public transport routes just ever so quickly. So this guy is there. That guy is there. So all of this should be covered by public transport. Now, the question is, do we improve that public transport or what's the situation? Not sure. Not sure. We could see about linking this one up to New Haven, in which case New Haven will have a little bit more action here. This is, this is getting... Pretty good, but our fuel supplies and our goods are not quite up there where it should be. Even all of them are not up there where they should be. 
I don't quite know why it's not grabbing more of this stuff. But more than a thousand um, crude oil here. My goodness, more than a thousand crude oil. We'll, we'll just we should just move that crude oil directly um, to the refinery on the other side of the map and bring back fuel. Right. That kind of feels right to me. So we'll keep a little bit of an eye on that. Um, over here, we should be meeting most of our demands. We are meeting practically all the demands. I have no idea why it decided to drop out again. We were so close. We we're so close. What is this guy bringing in? Bring in food. This guy does not take food, but it could have taken some of the some of the tools. Uh, some, some of the machines. And then this train over here. Yeah, moving a lot of people. Oh, there we go. Colorado Ex Springs accepting machines once again, but not necessarily anything else. So how many machines does it take? About five. So the issue is really, so our next load of machines dropping off over here should be uh, should be getting it um, delivered. I would I would like to think. How about seven machines wanting to wanting to do its trick. Um, so if I grab over here, just want to have a quick look at the goods. Oh, and now it's taking food as well. That is good. That is really good. So who's after machines here? Over here is a little bit of machines, and if we're looking at the food situation, I can't actually see. Who the guys are that's actually wanting the food. Right. Oh, there it is. There's a little bit of food demand in that tall building over there. Okay, so hopefully that means that the next round of stuff being delivered over here. Well, in fact, and I'll just have a quick look at that. So this is the pink train coming through now, 231. Um, machines uh, machines coming through. So I would like to see that at least some of that be sent or it's going to need to take a little bit more. There it comes. There we go, all of it over there, and it's still not being dropped off here for moving. But I think it's probably a matter of waiting on demands. That's what it is. So now that the demand is here, we should start seeing it being um, being reflected on the other side of things. Still not seeing where the food needs to go, apart from that one building there. But that's okay, that building is probably requesting everything and then if we go back to here where this is being produced so if we're going to say ooh, actually we're struggling a little bit with the planks need to keep an eye on that the consumer of this is um colorado springs is asking for one which is not yet being shipped that is an interesting maneuver here we are missing out on uh planks planks needs to get here fairly quickly That's a busy, big, busy train. Where's my plank train? That's the pink train. That's a coal train. Yeah, we probably need to run more plank trains because it's not actually getting there. Is this thing max, maxed out? This thing is maxed out. That is the thing. So um, it's sending 188, but it can't do any more. This thing is maxed out, so we probably need... Um, some more supply. So what we could look at is uh, is linking something up here so that we, yeah, could probably dump some more stuff onto that side. That is an interesting one. That is an interesting one. There's lots of little things that we would like to tie into at some point. But yeah, all in all, Corpus Christi is seeing a little bit of growth. Yes, no, maybe, uh, not really. 
Uh, we, we, we do need to make a bit of a concerted effort to get Corpus Christi growing because it's at the, uh, the end of the line on the other side that would help us out a little bit. Lancaster, we could start actually bringing in some, some of these goods um, by plane over to Lancaster also and then maybe linking it up by train. But that is going to be where we're going to end it for uh, this episode. I think we're doing pretty well. I just still want to see us. We could be moving... I think we moved that over there already. Yeah, so we could be moving. Um, we should just set up a, a separate train to move some stuff over that way and see if we can't potentially move some planks. Can't maybe move some planks over this way so that it can run back. Um, back to over here. That, I think, is probably a bit of a plan. Uh, yeah, this one is a little bit hit and miss, it seems. Okay, guys, but we'll we'll continue to sort out Colorado Springs in the next episode. Hopefully, uh, a little bit of supply is going to pop in for some of these other things soon, and we'll, we'll take it from there. We do need to continuously um, move some stuff in here for Colorado Springs to continue to grow. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!